Today's the day we tear down the trike. It's cold out, spring just hit. We got her set up right here. Get a glimpse of this because this is the last time you're gonna see it looking like this. So the idea here is I'm gonna de-Chinese the Chinaman's trike. It won't be Chinese at all. We're using the Chinaman's idea, but we're, we're gonna make it really quality, different wiring, powder coat frame, tons of new parts. What you just see, it's gonna be interesting. take a break it's hot in there I dressed in long underwear long sleeve shirt shirt underneath long pants boots wool socks because I work today outside not a good idea and a little chill pill <laughs> Dang, look at that pile of parts. I just created a mess. You got cables, you got wheels, you got it all. All right, so now I gotta get this frame completely stripped of all the extra tabs that we won't need. So back here, this is the license plate uh, tail light type bracket. We're not gonna use that anymore. Um, we've got like a bunch of just random tabs that we're gonna get off of here. This has to look really good, nice and smooth, so when we powder coat it, it's it's not like you know chunky got my frame here we've got uh my cutting wheel that i just got um so i'll cut you know the frame off i'll just trim it off and then i'll follow up with some uh um some grinding to make it look super supreme and i've got a couple different ones of these that will uh that'll work got to make it look smooth I got all these pieces that I got off of here, but I have like a bunch of stuff I need to grind off, like smooth out. For starters, the you know the grinder, of course. I'll get it as smooth as I can, and then I'll go over it with the 
was that 40 grit and then follow that up with 120 grit so it's super smooth so when we powder coat it it will be great nice and smooth so i've been working on this uh tail section and i think i need to weld i'll weld it fill this hole up and that way when i'm grinding i could kind of go nice and smooth with the rest of it I just think it's a good time to do that right now. Everything's grinded, ready for powder coat. I was going to powder coat the wheels, but I changed my mind. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that because the wheels aren't, don't really get, come in contact with anything. You do powder coat for like durability. And uh, you don't get as much of a shine when you powder coat either. So I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint the wheels. So I, I just have to load this up, um, get these these things loaded up, and then we'll, it'll be like a couple weeks, and we'll get the powder coat back. I'll have the front. There's a bunch of stuff too that I ordered from Thailand um, and some other places. We've got to wait for that. Half the half the thing about these builds is like getting sourcing the parts, finding all the parts, powder coat. Like everything just takes a lot of time. The build itself, when everything's laid out, you can do in a couple days, but I'm gonna load these things up. I was gonna film in there, but uh, dude's way too busy. I'll be like the, the time waster, so. All that stuff's gotten dropped off. We just gotta wait a two, two weeks, something like that, and we'll, we'll have some nice stuff to work with. He does a, a powder coat with a clear over the top. It's super slick. <laughs> 